true. It was a complete reinvention of, of, of politics and polls. It's true. But it was also something else. We've talked about race. I mean, we've talked about everything but race tonight. We've talked about income. We've talked about class. We've talked about region. We haven't talked about race. This was a white lash. This was a white lash against a changing country. It was a white lash against a black president in part. And that's the part where the pain comes. <laughs> the race card. Don't leave home without it. Once again, Van Jones has proven that. Uh, yes, uh, Belichick and Brady win again. All right, 1-844-500-4242. That is the toll-free number of the Howie Car Show officer. Oh, that's right, the poll question here. I'm just getting so excited here. The poll question is brought to you today by Boston Holiday Pops, performing Saturday, December 10th at the SNHU Arena in Manchester, New Hampshire. To order tickets, go to snhuarena.com. Steve, what's the poll question? What are the results thus far? What's step one for President Trump? Lock her up or drain the swamp? Drain the swamp. Uh, up to 77% now who think drain the swamp first. Okay, all right. People are so excited. Hey, hey, Van, she was just as white. She's just as white as Trump. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, now all of 617, now all of a sudden we're one team. That's right. We are. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, let's take some calls here. Jenna, you're next with Howie Carr. Go ahead, Jenna, on the general communications listener line. Go ahead. Hi, hi, Callie. I, uh, Howie, I just love your show. I listen to you every single day. And I want to tell you, it is not white lash. It is about the most corrupt woman. And I don't right. know a woman that has ever run for public office. I work with a ton of women here in Vermont. They have no idea why they lost. I was talking to them yesterday for the first time they approached me. I didn't tell them anything. And I was just dumbfounded. Uh, they, they're like, Sure, she's you know she breaks a few laws, but at least she has experience. It's I not mean, like running. Like, a, I just didn't Jenna, know. I didn't say anything. Jenna, it's and not like she's point. running a stoplight here or something. You know, I mean, these are major right, felonies. Right. I mean, these are serious things, right? Yeah. And I'm, it, I, I'm 52 years old. I have never felt so patriotic. I have never donated to a campaign until this time. My son, who is 33. He actually voted for the first time in his life, and my eight-year-old daughter was so involved, helping make signs, and just so wanting a Trump win. We are over the moon. We were up all night last night, just all night. We could not sit. I haven't been able to watch TV, uh, the news, in probably six months, except for when Comey was going to maybe do something. Then it was, like, safe to get back on for a couple days. I mean... This is just so unexpected. I am it is. so happy. And I, the only thing I want to say, can you just tell Trump, please make sure he has a ton of security because these people are nuts. He, and believe I, me, like, please, Jenna, I've been, I've been with him at some of these events recently. Yeah. That's not a problem. That's not oh, a problem. Good. I love your show. I love Trump. We are. My husband's blood pressure went down probably 20 points. We couldn't even talk about the election, and we are on the same side of the fence and seriously for the last two weeks he's like i can't talk to you don't talk to me i can't talk to you he says if she, if he doesn't win this yeah. gives everyone the opportunity to just go lawless i i yeah i know i can, i feel like i can breathe again jenna i'm howie carr <laughs> 